Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Joystick Jockeys. This week starts our Top 10 Gaming Guys Countdown. And so we're going to be continuing this every day up until Valentine's Day. Oh, how precious. And uh, so just check back every day, and we should have another installment up for that. So let me run down the basics of how this is going to work. It's not based simply on looks, even though that could be enough. Uh, it's based on how many games they've been in, how long they've been around, um, their skill that they display, personality that they display, and a lot of things factor in on this. And so we'll get into that as each character comes up. So let's get right to it. Number 10 on our list is someone who probably gets on your nerves a little bit, but is so cute that you just can't help it. I'm talking about the laid-back mechanic loudmouth from Left 4 Dead 2, Ellis. My buddy Keith tried camping out on top of a building once. He was shooting crows, but the police were too busy tear gassing him to ask what he was doing up there. He screamed for an entire year every single time he opened his eyes. Oh, man. At first, it was funny. Then it just got sad, but then it got funny again. Oh, man. Although being pretty darn cute, Ellis didn't get very far on our list simply because Left 4 Dead 2 is the only game that he has any record for. And also, the game itself being first person and pretty, you know, each character's the same type of character, and it's very hard to get an idea of each individual character. He didn't really have much to display other than his looks. <clears throat> but he's still a very cool character, and I hope to see more of him in the future. But as for now, he's stuck here at number 10. Number 9 on our list is a character who I had a personal connection to while playing the game, and I feel like he should have been higher, but... I'm not the only person who decides all this. I'm talking about Alistair from Dragon Age Origins and the other expansions. Oh, super. Excuse me while I begin projectile vomiting. Alistair is one of those characters who you have a crush on from the very beginning, and it follows through the entire game. And you see his character change and grow, and he's just so charming and funny that you can't help but like him. And it gets to a point to where... You kind of wish that if you're playing as a male, that your character could have a romance with him, but you know, it never worked out that way. As a character, he has such a personality that you see that personality in so many different ways. You see his bravery, you see his humor, you see his anger, you see his sadness, you see just about every dimension of a character that you could possibly get. And uh, your actions just, you know, determine where he ends up. And so it's really intuitive and enthralling to watch him grow as a character. Not to mention he's one of the strongest characters in the game, so he has a lot of skill to show up. Unfortunately, Dragon Age Origins and the Awakening expansion pack are the only games that he really has under his belt so far. So if he had more games, I'm sure he'd have been higher up on the list. Well, that's it for number 10 and number 9 on our Top 10 Gaming Guys list. Check back tomorrow for number 8 and number 7 and continue to follow us throughout the week just to find out who's number 1. You all have a great weekend.